the look for the Ravini today is quite fun. Ravini always likes to put a little edge on her bridal beauty. We were inspired by the photogram and how pictures were created back then when there wasn't a camera. So we took a lot of different textures and tones and worked it onto the eye. So we're working with shimmers of bronzes on the top of the eye. And then we took this very matte pencil and just highlighted the different parts of her eye with it and just smudged it out. So you have those contrast of different textures on the eyes that I quite enjoy. And then one cool thing that we're going to be doing for the lips, we just muted out her natural lip tone. And then we're going to be taking just a little bit of our pigment, it's just a white pigment, and just popping it right into the pout of the lip and just highlighting it quite nice. So that way when the pictures are taken, when it reflects back, it's just like focus point on the eyes and then on the lips. This year it's based on a very classical look with a more modern feel to it. That's why we've taken a low, deep side part, which makes it a lot more contemporary. And the classic is that slight little bit of backcombing that we have on top, which is a little bit like a beehive, but we don't want it to be a beehive, so it's a lot smoother than that. Very low ponytail, which is another more modern feel to it. Nice and shiny, but it's secured just with a little bit of elastic, and it's just really, really contemporary. I think it's really important that a bride feels comfortable with her look. She's going to wear it all day. She's going to be looking at those photographs for the next 50 years. So she wants something that's going to be contemporary, nothing that's not going to date so fast, and something that looks great at the end of the day. We didn't want the nails to reflect. She wanted a nude base coast, no shimmer, just flat, no pink tones, just a beigey tone, and then a silvery pearl line down the center that is reflecting the light off the nail, giving it something from back in the days that they used to do during photography. So pretty and different. It's not a classic French manicure. She was very clear about that, Lulu. You know, I don't do French manicures. You know, one thing I love about Rita that she steps outside of the box. She would give it a little zhuzh, but not over the top where it is gaudy. The inspiration for 2015 is all about photograms. I was sort of obsessed with the selfies and the smartphones and pictures, how we used to preserve our photos. So in that exploration, I stumbled upon the concept of photograms where you place an object on either paper or photographic paper and expose it. And through that, you get gradations of gray and transparencies coming through. So basically, you'll see throughout the collection this season, there's transparencies and you see the understructure. So you've got like course are coming through. I played with a lot of shadowing of two different tones of organzas with layers of laces in between and applying laces so that it's all about transparencies and about the gradation of color. We've got all over beaded dresses. There's one that I absolutely love and it's a play of sequins and beads and I took an old vintage lace design that I had and we recreated it through beading and it's almost like it's the negative of the beading on the dress which is really great. All the backs have a little bit of sensuality to them so they're somewhat alluring and they just sort of bring you in without being like too exposed or anything. Other textures that we did was layering of laces. It was really fun to work with different types of laces, which I always love doing, and mixing them together. But in this collection, what I did was I actually layered them. So we would start with one all over lace and then place either laces underneath it or laces on top of it to create shadow effects and texture and depth. Another thing that we did was played with different textures. This one dress that we did rows of ribbons and we did a mix of leather ribbons, organza ribbons, and tulle ribbons. It's a new way of bringing a little bit of modernity and something a little bit more fashionable into bridal. It's very delicate, so it's still leather, but really delicate. Angelic. It was just beautiful. So many beautiful gowns for so many different stunning brides. I think that the very close to the body pieces, Rita does so well. Some of the crepes, the Chantilly laces, and then we saw beautiful contrast with the elaborate beading and embroideries and so intricately designed.
Frida always does an incredible, beautiful collection. I think she really understands a woman and femininity. I love the delicate beading, the uses of laces, the different combination of laces. I love the sleeve, the dolman sleeve. I also saw something that I have never seen in bridal, a tulip sleeve. I think it really was bringing some of that fashion back into bridal. The woman that's a Ravini bride who connects with her feminine side, who really understands high fashion, and she delivered it today. Oh, I thought you did a beautiful job. She had a lot of slim silhouettes, and I know she had a subtle texture thing going on. And it was really modern and clean, and the girls looked beautiful, and the selfies were just an adorable idea. It was really great. At the finale, all the models are going to be lining up in the center aisle. And what they're going to do is they all have their cell phones and they're going to be pulling someone out of the audience and doing a selfie. So that's uh, a connection to my obsession with like smartphones and selfies. <laughs> it's perfect and it is the new and modern way of capturing our memories and our pictures these days. So we're going to start it today. And the hashtag is hashtag Ravini Selfie.